What is water spout? A water spout is an often funnel shaped trunk under a cloud caused by rapidly rotating air movements above open water. Water is lifted up here. Some are connected to a cumulus congested cloud, some to a cumuliform cloud, and some to a cumulonimbus cloud. Most water spouts do not suck up water. They are small and weak rotating columns of air over water. Above land, the water spout usually loses its power. Only in rare cases does the water spout retain enough strength along the coast to cause accidents and cause damage. The water spouts form mostly in the tropics and subtropical areas. Other areas also reported water spouts including Europe, the Middle East, Australia, New Zealand and some are also found on the east coast of the United States and the coast of California. In Europe water spouts occur mainly in the second half of summer and autumn when the relatively warm seawater encourages the formation of showers. These showers occur mainly in the cold air from the polar regions where large temperature differences occur between the seawater and the air above. Types! There are two types of water spouts we commonly see. A fair weather water spout or non-tornadic water spout and a tornadic water spout. Water spouts that are not associated with a rotating updraft of a supercell thunderstorm are known as non-tornadic or fair weather water spouts and are by far the most common type. Fair weather water spouts occur in coastal waters and are associated with dark, flat bases of a line of developing cumulus clouds. Air begins to circulate at the surface of the water and develops upward. Water spouts of this type rapidly develop and dissipate. The average lifetime is just 5 to 10 minutes. The average water spout is around 50 meters, 165 feet in diameter. The largest water spouts can have diameters of 100 meters or 330 feet and last for up to one hour. They usually rate no higher than EF0 on the enhanced Fujita scale generally exhibiting winds of less than 30 meters per second or 67 miles per hour or 108 kilometers per hour. Tornadic water spouts are tornadoes that form over water or move from land to water. They have the same characteristics as a land tornado. They are associated with severe thunderstorms, supercells and are often accompanied by high winds and large hail and frequent dangerous lightning. Tornadic water spouts typically develop downward in a thunderstorm and begin to appear initially as funnel clouds. Formation non-tornadic water spout The seawater must be sufficiently heated. The temperature of the upper air above 1.5 km or 850 hectopascal is cold and sufficiently moistured. The wind speed should not exceed 40 knots or 74 km per hour on 1.5 km altitude. An unstable atmosphere with a large vertical extent of the showers is also necessary. Difference LCL and EL. Due to the large temperature difference between seawater and the upper air, the updraft, the upward movement can be much stronger, and stronger updraft has a greater suction effect. We also need wind shear at the bottom of the atmosphere for the shape of the water spout. Wind shear is a change of wind direction and or speed with altitude. We distinguish directional shear from speed shear. In particular, directional shear appears to be important for the formation of water spouts. Wind shear in the lower layers of the atmosphere promote the formation of water spouts. A changing wind direction with altitude can cause a kind of vortex movement to occur. The small vortex movement can grow into a real vortex after which 
the updraft starts upwards to rotate on its own axis. The water spout becomes visible when the air cools rapidly as it rises and the water vapor in the air condenses. This forms the distinctive trunk under a shower. There are five stages that occur for fair weather water spouts. Stage 1 is a dark spot. The surface of the water takes on a dark appearance where the vortex or column of rotating wind reaches it. Stage 2 is a spiral pattern on the water surface. Light and dark bands spiral out from the dark spot. Stage 3 is a formation of a spray ring, a swirling ring of sea spray called a cascade, forms around the dark spot. It appears to have an eye at the center. Stage 4 is a mature vortex. The water spout is now at its most intense stage, visible from the surface of the water to the clouds overhead. It appears to have a hollow funnel and may be surrounded by vapor. Stage 5 is the last and final stage of the life cycle, where the water spout decays. When the water spout decays, it likely does so because a cool rain falls near the spout. This cool air typically disrupts the supply of warm humid air that allows to keep the water spout going. Forecast water spout There is an empirical technique to forecast water spout and it is Gilangi water spout nomogram. A zone within the red lines is likely to cause water spout, providing the wind speed is below 40 knots. To quantify the likelihood of water spout occurrences, the Gilangi water spout index, SWI, was developed. The SWI is a stability index and is derived directly from the water spout nomogram. The values from SWI range from minus 10 to plus 10. Water spouts are likely to occur when the SWI is greater than zero. Hopefully you have learned something from the water spout. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.